What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Kwan. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Uniqlo U 2024 Fall Winter Collection. Back in the day, I was a big Uniqlo activist. I feel like in 2018 and 2020, all I did every week was go to the mall, go to Uniqlo and just buy one item. I bought their Aerism shirts, I bought their Uniqlo U shirts, the Supreme Cotton shirts, every type of shirt I bought. The one I'm wearing right now is Uniqlo U as well. But I feel like over the past few years, Uniqlo has been on the downhill. I feel like their stuff is not good quality anymore. I feel like their designs are just mundane and uninteresting. Even their past collection, I tried stuff on and it just did not fit me well. But nonetheless, we're gonna take a look at their new collection, see if I'm gonna grab some items, and then I'll just review them for you guys. So going on my laptop right now to check their new collection. All right, so let's see their men collection. Okay, this Puff Tech Volume Parka, not bad. Okay, knitted jacket, the Lanzo one. Don't need that, that kind of looks mid, sweaters. See, their sweaters look kind of interesting, but it's very basic. I just need basic stuff for like work. So maybe that could be an option. The Lance Wool Crew Neck Sweater. All right, this drape shirt doesn't look too bad, honestly, in the black color. I just need some stuff for work. I don't know what is it with Uniqlo pants, but they just never fit me well, so. Accessories, nothing. Okay, let's kind of look at the women's because they always do better on the women's side. This Lance Wool Blend Zip Up Jacket looks pretty nice, actually. I might get in this black colorway. It looks pretty good. I wish it was two-way zip, but it's not. But shirts, nothing. All right, the rest of the collection is pretty, pretty mid, mid. I feel like I'm just gonna look at three decent options that I might get, and then I'll come back to you guys and give a review on you guys for that later. So, yeah. Okay, so the new collection just released and I only grabbed one item. And that one item that I got was this lamb's wool zip up jacket that I got from the women's section. So I tried on the parka, didn't really like how it fits. Also, the materials were kind of off. It's like a 51 cotton blend with a polyester as well. And also a nylon blend, which is kind of iffy for me, especially cause I already have a Jill Sander down jacket that kind of does the job, so I didn't really need it. Also the drape shirt, 100% Lysol, I believe. It's semi-synthetic material. So I didn't really like the way that fit on me as well. So that was a pass. But also there's a lamb's wool knit, I believe, and that just fit was The neckline was really bad on that, so. I didn't end up getting anything from the men's section, which is kind of sad. Like I said before, Uniqlo U, I feel like their quality and their fit isn't just, isn't there anymore, or maybe I just grew past Uniqlo. I feel like if you're just beginning to get into fashion or you just need the basics down and you can't really afford, you know, a lot of high tier designers or clothes, I feel like Uniqlo is completely fine. Like it's not that serious, it's just clothes at the end of the day. But I am disappointed by Uniqlo. I feel like they are very stale and stagnant. Throughout these past few years, it feels like they've been releasing like the same Aerism heat tech stuff forever now. And I'm kind of sick of it, although I do love their heat tech stuff. It's pretty good, especially to sell it in Canada. Yeah, but let's just get into this lamb's wool zip up jacket. On the tag, it says 40% wool, 35% acrylic, and 25% nylon, which is still not the greatest, but I felt like it was the most interesting piece out of the entire collection. It kind of reminds me of the R like C shrunken zip up, I believe that's what it's called. So this is a pretty decent alternative to that. I got a size XL in this and it has a nice cropped fit, elongated sleeves, and the collar is also pretty cool. The zipper works okay, but the material again is not top notch. But if you're just in the market to look for anything, I feel like this is the best thing to get from the collection, at least for me. But yeah, I don't know what else to say about this collection. Low key, I might just return this because of the materials and it is 70 bucks Canadian. So I'd rather maybe just save my money and go out for a nice dinner. But overall review and thoughts on the collection. Yeah, just save your money, I guess. I feel like Uniqlo or their other competitors just really similar stuff. So it's kind of just pick what you like at this point. Again, the materials aren't really there. The fit and quality, I'm not too sure. I don't really own anything from them anymore, except for their shirts. Of course, if you just want to get a plain shirt, go to Uniqlo, they're fine, they're great. 
for what it is, but I feel like their diffusion lines are getting kind of stale. Kind of just wait for like designer collabs, whether it's Jill Sander or JW Anderson, Engineer Garments, those type of collabs I feel like are pretty cool. But whatever happened to Uniqlo? To me going to the mall every day and buying clothes from there almost every week. Maybe I'm just growing up now and I like different stuff, but hey, wear what you like at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys think of everything of Uniqlo and yeah. I'm just gonna probably return this anyway, so.